Okay, folks, a coronal mass ejection came out of the sun today, September 2nd, 2011. As you can see here on the Lasco C3 and in a second here on the Lasco C2, it appears to be slightly lower than Earth's orbital plane and coming out to the left, if you will, or behind Earth's orbit as a Earth is tracking to the right from this perspective around the Sun. So let's go behind in our orbit to the Stereo B and see what we can discern from anything we can see here. Alright, now do you see how it appears that the emissions or the, uh, the gases are coming uh, out of both sides of the dark spot in the middle? That means it's coming in this direction of Stereo B rather than at the Earth which is over to the right. Now we don't think it's actually going to hit Stereo B, that would be quite a coincidence and pretty remarkable considering that it did appear to be directed lower. But that is kind of where Elenin is. Now there is absolutely no way to determine whether or not Elenin was hit with this coronal mass ejection. As we turn over here to Stereo B, this is about where it is, we can see that maybe Elenin could be in the path, maybe not. Definitely no way to tell as of yet. Um, but we don't have a whole lot of time to be uh, looking at more videos today so we invite you guys to do some research and definitely let us know if you think that the coronal mass ejection was headed towards Elenin, uh, especially because there's been a lot of research uh, connecting coronal mass ejections to uh, comets as they slingshot around the sun. And we'll leave you here with a nice shot of the SDO AIA, uh, the southeastern limb if you will, where the coronal mass ejection came out. Be safe everyone.